Welcome to this introductory video on Corel Painter 12. The first thing that you will notice when you open the application is the Getting Started window in the center of your screen. This window will allow you to select any recent files you may have been working on in Painter, and it also links to useful information such as the What's New in Painter page, as well as tutorials and other helpful resources. To prepare a blank sheet or canvas, from the Getting Started window, select Create New Image. In the New Image dialog box, you can select the size of your paper or canvas in various measurements. In this example, we will change pixels to inches. You can give the project a name and also set the resolution and style of paper. Painter 12 has many paper styles available in regular and in watercolor. You can also set the paper color. We will leave it white this time and click OK. The next thing that you will want is to familiarize yourself with the brush libraries. Click on the icon of the currently selected brush to expand and view the categories. Each category has an icon representing the style of brushes it contains, such as acrylics, oils, pens, or pencils. If you've upgraded from Painter 11 and wish to use the brushes that you're more familiar with, you have the option to use the Painter 11 brush library, which comes included in version 12. To do this, simply click on the list icon in the upper right corner of the brush library menu, select brush library, and then Painter 11 brushes. You also have the option to import brushes, categories, or libraries that other users have created and made available to the public. It's also important to make sure that you read any additional instructions that may be provided by the creator of those brushes prior to installing them. To see the names of the brush categories beside the icons, click on Category Display and then select Categories as List. To select a brush from a category, simply click on the brush and the menu will disappear. You can change the size of the brush in the Properties bar at the top of your screen. Colors can be chosen from the Color Wheel, Mixer, or Color Set libraries. In this example, we will be using the Color Wheel. Depending on the brush you have chosen, the color may be constant, or it may be set to mimic how the color would fade in real life. As you can see from this example, as the brush moves along the paper, the paint starts to fade as it's removed from the brush, for a very realistic painting experience. As you experiment with the application, you will also notice that the paint can blend. There is even a category specifically for blending brushes. In this example, we will start with a blender bristle brush. This brush applies a small amount of paint, and then it blends with the paint below. There are also blenders such as the grainy water brush that do not apply any paint themselves, but simply blend the paint which is already on the canvas. Painter also has a wide variety of other tools, such as pens. One of the great things about Painter is the ability to use a tablet to simulate real painting and drawing. Since many brushes are designed to adjust the angle and pressure used on a tablet, it makes the experience much more realistic. One of the fantastic things about Painter that would be impossible in real life is that you can erase any medium off of the page with the eraser. That means you never have to worry about unsightly eraser marks on the page ever again. Here are a few useful shortcuts to help make your painting experience easier. First, to put your canvas in full screen mode, use the combination Control and the letter M on your keyboard. If you're using a Mac, that will be the Command key and the letter M. The other useful key combination to know is the Control plus Alt keys in the Windows or the Command plus Option keys on the Mac keyboard. While holding down these keys, moving the mouse while holding down the left mouse button will adjust the brush size. Moving the mouse wheel will rotate the canvas. Although most brushes can be used on a standard canvas, watercolors are the exception. 
To create a watercolor painting, it is preferable to begin by choosing a watercolor paper in the New Image dialog box. Next, select a watercolor brush from the watercolor or digital watercolor brush categories. When using these brushes, you will notice that the behavior of the paint is very different from what you saw earlier with the acrylics. Watercolor paint can blend and diffuse very quickly and the program is made to simulate this effect depending on which brush you've chosen. To save a painting you intend to work on further at a later time, go to File, Save As, and select RIF as the file type. A RIF file will maintain layers and all other information associated with your painting project. To save a version to print, send via email, or upload to the Internet, go back to File, Save As, and select JPEG. You will now have the option to select the quality of the JPEG. The general rule with images is, the higher the quality, the larger the file size. If you're uploading to the Internet, you may want to consider a lower quality and a smaller file size so that the image will load quickly. For printing, however, it's always preferable to save files with the highest quality possible. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Coral Painter 12.